A bamboo cutter named Sanuki no Miyatsuko discovers a miniature girl inside a glowing bamboo shoot. Believing her to be a divine presence, he and his wife decide to raise her as their own, calling her Princess. The girl grows rapidly, earning her the nickname Takenoko, Takenoko Little Bamboo, from the village children. Sutimaru, she van the oldest among Takenoko's friends, develops a close relationship with her. Miyatsuko comes upon gold and fine cloth in the bamboo grove the same way he found his daughter. He takes these as proof of her divine royalty. Endi begins planning to make her a proper princess. He relocates the family to the capital, forcing the girl to leave her friends behind, and the family moves into a mansion replete with servants. The G. IRL is saddled with a governess who is tasked with taming her into a noble woman. The girl struggles with the restraints of nobility, yearning for her prior life in the countryside. When she comes of age, she is granted the formal name, Princess Kaguya, the Shining Princess. Miyatsuko holds a celebration, where Kaguya overhears Partigo is ridiculing her father's attempts to turn a peasant girl into a noble through money. Kaguya flees the capital in despair and runs back to the mountains, seeking Sutimaru and her friends, but discovers that they have all moved away. She passes out in the snow and awakens back at the party. Kaguya grows in beauty, attracting suitors. Five noblemen attempt to court her, comparing her to mythical treasures. Kaguya tells them she will only marry Wu. Work can bring her the mythical treasure mentioned. Eventually, spring comes, and the princess wishes to see the cherry blossoms bloom. Her mother and one of her handmaidens take her back to the country. We're not far from the hut she once lived, a tree is in bloom. Reveling in its bursting forth with life, she happily whirls amid its petals, until she accidentally stumbles across a small child. Th. A family of the child quickly takes it away, bowing in her presence, reminding the princess of who and what she is now. Returning to the capital, the card the group is in finds itself stuck, when a ruckus is heard outside. Kaguya notices several men running through the streets, and upon seeing one of them, recognizes Sutimaru. Unable to contain herself, she cries out to him, but upon realizing her station in life, quickly retreats into the carriage as it drives off. Sutimaru attempts to go after her, but is beaten for his attempts, as Kaguya cries. Two suitors attempt to persuade her with counterfeits. The third abandons his quest, and the fourth gives Kaguya a flower instead of his treasure, but is found by his wife before Kaguya can accept. When the last suitor is killed in his quest, Kaguya becomes depressed. The emperor takes notice of Kegaya's beauty and tries to kidnap her. She panics and is overtaken by a strange sensation as she suddenly phases through the emperor's arms and briefly disappears from his sight. Only reappearing when he promises to not lay a hand on her and she convinces him to leave. As a result of her brief altercation with the emperor, Kaguya now recalls her true identity and reveals to her parents that she originally came from the moon. Once a resident there, she broke its laws, hoping to be exiled to Earth so that she could experience mortal life. When the Emperor made his advances, she silently begged the Moon to help her. Having heard her prayer, the Moon restored her memories and said she will be reclaimed during the next full moon. Kaguya C. confesses her attachment to Earth and her reluctance to leave. Miyatsuko swears to protect her and begins turning the mansion into a fortress. Kaguya returns to her home village and finds Sutimaru. The two profess their love. And in their joy, they fly over the countryside, only to encounter the moon and fall. Sutimaru wakes up alone and reunites with his wife and child, interpreting the experience as a dream. On the night of the full moon, a procession of celestial beings led by the Buddha descends from the moon, and Miyatsuko is unable to stop it. An attendant offers Kaguya a robe that will erase her memories of Earth. She is granted one last moment with her parents before an attendant drapes the robe around her, appearing to erase her memory. They leave, 
and Miyatsuko and his wife are distraught. Kaguya looks back at Earth one last time and cries as she remembers her mortal life, which is now only a dream to her.